In this problem, we're going to calculate your weight on another planet, given your weight on Earth. So a very simple test that you can do to find out your weight is step on a scale. And what we're going to do is use that information to find out how much you would weigh on the planet Mars. And we're also given the acceleration due to gravity on the planet Mars, which I'll indicate with a lowercase a subscript m. And in this case, Mars has a gravitational acceleration of 3.76, meters per second per second, or meters per second squared. Now the first thing that we need to do is remember that the definition of weight was equal to mass times the gravitational acceleration. So the first thing that we need to do is discover what your mass is, because your mass on Earth will be equal to your mass on the planet Mars. So in this case, you're given the weight, and you should already know the gravitational acceleration on Earth as 9.8 meters per second per second. So to figure out your mass, what you're going to do is take both sides of this equation and divide it by the gravitational acceleration. So you're going to take both sides, divide by g, and what you should see is that your mass now is equal to your weight here on Earth divided by the gravitational acceleration here on Earth. Now in this case, you've weighed yourself and you weigh 800 newtons. Now the force of gravity is pulling you down towards the Earth at a rate of 9.8 meters per second per second or that's what the gravitational acceleration here on Earth is. Now when you divide 800 newtons by 9.8 meters per second per second, you should get 81.6 kilograms. A newton divided by a meter per second squared is a unit of kilograms. Now to find your weight on Mars, what you're going to do is say your weight on Mars, which I'll indicate with a subscript n, equals your mass times the gravitational acceleration on the planet Mars. Now your mass does not change. That no matter where you are in the universe, your mass will stay the same. So in this case, your weight on Mars equals your mass, which is the same as your mass here on Earth, times the gravitational acceleration on Mars, which we said was 3.76 meters per second per second. And when you multiply those two numbers out, you get 306.9 newtons. Now let's just see what that number actually works out to be in units of pounds. So in this case, you know 306 newtons, and all you're going to do is you're going to convert that number over to pounds. Now in this case, you know 4.45 newtons equals one pound. Notice that units of newtons cancel out. And when you do this multiplication, or in this case you're dividing 306.9 divided by 4.45, and you get 68.9 pounds. Now on Earth, a person with a mass of 81.63 kilograms has a weight of 800 newtons, and let's just convert that over to pounds to see how much your weight decreases. All right, so you, you know 4.45 newtons equals one pound, and notice my units of newtons cancels out. And when I do this multiplication out, the number that I get is 179, so let's say 180 pounds. So you can see that your weight on the planet Earth is much different than your weight on the planet Mars.